Hey everyone, Shannon here, and I just want to start this post by saying that I really appreciated Lisa's Devo for the week. I know that there are many times that I've felt like a fish out of water as a Christian and a 20-something, especially when conversations turn to things like politics or women's rights or what I think is appropriate for people to do together before they're married. And I really think that Lisa brought up a lot of great ways that we can make sure that we stay strong and that we don't compromise, that we continue to pursue holiness at all costs. But in today's vlog post, I want to come from a little bit of a different angle and talk about how this next week as Thanksgiving is approaching, we can stay strong and kind of adhere to our same standard of holiness as we see people who may be antagonistic over Thanksgiving. We might have family members or friends that we will be sharing Thanksgiving dinner with who don't hold to our beliefs. Or we may be going home to our parents' house in the community where we grew up and we may see some old friends from high school over there who have really made alternative lifestyle choices. And so how do we stand strong for what we believe in without turning the holiday into a fight? Well, in Mark chapter 2, it reminds us that Jesus chose to dine with tax collectors and sinners. And if Jesus could dine with tax collectors and sinners and do so in a peaceful way without sinning, I'm sure that we can too. And one thing that I love about the way that Jesus always interacted with non-believers was that he used parables. He used regular everyday object lessons that people would understand in order to illustrate spiritual truths. And so maybe there's something that you can do this Thanksgiving that doesn't really involve opening your Bible and beating people over the head and preaching at them if that's going to incite a riot at your Thanksgiving dinner table. But maybe you can find a regular everyday object lesson that fits into the life of your family. Do what Jesus did and use a parable of sorts to illustrate a spiritual truth. Bring something to the conversation that can serve as a great illustration for why you believe what you believe, why you take a stand for what you take a stand for. And maybe at the end of the day, people aren't going to profess their belief in Christ as a result of what you said, although maybe they will. But at the end of the day, they might be able to offer you a little bit more respect than they would have otherwise. So try to meet people where they're at. Talk in terms that they will understand. Use stories as illustrations and give thanks with believers and non-believers this Thanksgiving because we know that as Christians we certainly have a lot to be thankful for.